White flag, still inside. Just you and him, nothing out of the back. It'll be clear down, whatever you need. Still one back, all clear. You can probably dive low here. Dive and low. Loose under you here. There he goes. Down to the bottom, slides up in two. Right right. Who's going to save it? Neither one. Gas it up, gas it up, gas it up, gas it up, gas it up. Keep coming all the way to the top. 18's coming up to the top. Got to be deep to the line here. Boom. Kyle Bush steals one. Great job, guys. Appreciate the effort. One of them finally shaked our way. Hey, race fans, welcome into Studio 3 for the preview show. I'm Alex Weaver, that is Alan Pavana, and don't you worry, we're still having short track battles on Sunday, but uh, AC, it's gonna look a little different. A little different. We're putting dirt on Bristol again. I wore my cleanest, whitest shirt for the dirt race. It's the only appropriate thing yeah. to do. It's Bristol at night. It's going to be fun. Bristol Motor Speedway will be covered in dirt, but obviously okay. the momentum right now is the number five of Kyle Larson, who's the latest winner in the NASCAR Cup Series following that win at Richmond. But the dirt racer can't figure out the dirt track. What's going on? Let's go easy on him. He's only 0 for 2. But look, we have to remember, this is a dirt track. It's not a dirt car. And the drivers will be the first to tell you that. It's still a stock car. It's still the next gen car on a dirt track. So it's completely different than what Kyle Larson's been used to running. I expect him to do well, but I expect him to do well because he's Kyle Larson in a Hendrick car, not because he has this dirt racing background. Kyle Larson's just pretty good, but let's cut him some slack a little bit. He's only 0 for 2. I think he'll be just fine on Sunday. All right, I need the Kyle Larson dirt win. That's all I'm going to say. Well, when we come to this race, it's a one-off for the NASCAR Cup Series. These drivers are not used to racing stock cars on dirt every single weekend. There's not a whole lot that you can do as far as prepping for this one unless you have some dirt background. I'm looking at guys like Kyle Larson, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Christopher Bell, Chase Briscoe, but there's a name on the entry list who is a dirt guy. Jonathan Davenport will be racing Bristol Dirt. Yeah, the million dollar man. Dirt fans know him well. Probably the best dirt racer in America right now, making his Cup Series debut on Sunday for college racing. How cool is this? This is just like a few weeks ago at Coda when we had those F1 champions amongst the Cup stars. It's that level of talent that is joining the field on Sunday for this dirt race. I don't know what he can do in his debut. Again, it's a next gen car. It'll be a little different. It'll be tough but we have one of the best dirt racers in the world in the field on Sunday. That's awesome to know. Not a bad car with Colin either, mm. just saying. All right, well, if there are some teams who I don't know if they can use this weekend as a rebound, but man, they're sure hoping for it. And that's Joe Gibbs Racing. They're winless in 2023. And Stuart Haas Racing has a zero in the win column as well. But I'm also going to toss in some drivers with some high expectations for the start of the season that I don't know if it's gone exactly how they've had planned. And that's Noah Gregson, Chase Briscoe we've talked about, Ryan Priest, Austin Dillon. Is this, a, is this a weekend that we can kind of turn the corner a little bit? Oh, I don't know. I mean, a regular cup weekend is tough enough for some of these teams. As we've seen early in the season, the dirt's not going to make it any easier. But look, JGR, SHR not having victories so far this season. The pressure is on for them. A win is a win. A win gets you in the playoffs. A win means you have speed, all that stuff. So you can't just punt on this weekend. It's opportunity to get that victory and, and get in the playoffs. But if I'm thinking about those big teams, you got to think Christopher Bell. you got to think Chase Brisk go big time opportunities to get the first win for their respective organizations some of those other drivers no dirt background i don't expect them to just suddenly be great on dirt and get their first win it's going to be tough but it still counts the same yeah well a good thing that we hear coming from these drivers and from you race fans i'm sure is that the lights are turned on at thunder valley it's a night race and this is the second year that the dirt race has been a night race which i hear is good for the racetrack yes everybody says great decision to run this race at night first of all the dust there's less dust for fans and the drivers reflecting off the sun that makes everybody able to see more a little better that's great for us watching at home as well but also I was talking with Chase Briscoe and he was educating me about the surface when the race is at night they can keep more moisture in the track and track preparation is just as important as car preparation when it comes to dirt racing and when you do it at night you can have a better track and better run better racing at night we saw that last year remember how good that finish was last year we get that again this year great decision to go at night all right well Alan talked about the finish in our NASCAR 75 flashback we're going no further back than 2022 Kim Kuhn will take us there 
in last year's Bristol Dirt Race, it looked like Tyler Reddick was on the way to what would have been his first Cup Series victory. He was leading the race in the closing laps, lap after lap, with Chase Briscoe, though, in close pursuit. Tyler takes the white flag on the last corner of the last lap. Chase finally decides to make his move on the inside of Tyler, takes them both out. They go sliding sideways, opening the door for Kyle Busch to take home the checkered flag. It was wild. Anything can happen at Bristol Dirt, and it is shaping up to be another crazy weekend. AC, one of my favorite finishes I've ever seen in the NASCAR Cup Series. Unreal. I was right down there in that corner. Couldn't believe what I was seeing. And then, of course, veteran noted dirt racer yes. Kyle Busch wins the race. Uh -uh. <laughs> so maybe you don't have a dirt background. Hey, Joey Logano took the one that we yeah. ran back in 2021 with the, uh, the day race. So who knows? You never know. You never know. Make sure and tune in to the Food City Dirt Race this Sunday night, 7 p.m. Eastern on Fox. And then make sure you join us right back here next week for the preview show. We'll see you then.